Okay, in this video, we will talk about the electric potential energy, which is a continued version of last video, and also the work done in positioning the point charges. So now, let's say you place the Q1 from infinity away to point 0.1 first, and then you place the point charge Q2 from infinity to point 0.2, and then you also place the third charge from infinity to P3. So your total work done is W1 plus W2 plus W3. W1 is the work done to bring the first charge. W2 is the work done to bring the second charge. W3 is the work done to bring the third charge. And then W equal to QV. That means that when you are bringing the Q1, initially, there are no other charges here. So, the electric potential filled by Q1 at P1 is zero. That means that actually, you didn't do any work to bring the first charge. But then, when it comes to the second charge, then only you start doing work. Okay? V21 means the electric potential at point 2 due to the charges at point 1. Okay, so this is how I define V21 in this case. Okay, I really have to say because it really depends on your definition. Okay, some people can have another definition. Okay, but in, in my case here, V21 means electric potential at point 2 due to charges at point 1 okay for example v32 is the electric potential at point 3 due to point charges at p2 okay if you reverse the sequence that means that you place q3 first then only you place q2 then only you place q1 then the total work done is like this from these two equations, you merge them up. That means that you add up the two equations. Then finally, you can get the work done equal to half of the summation of the Q times V. Okay, where K is the total number of point charges. Okay, so by using this formula or this formula or this formula, you can find the total work done in positioning some point charges. For example, let's do a question. Three positively point charges, each of magnetic Q, are placed one after another at each corner of an equilateral triangle of side A. What is the total potential energy of the system of the charges? Okay, now assume that you, you bring the charge Q1 first, then only you bring the charge Q2, then only you bring the charge Q3. Then your work done is like this. What is the potential at point P2 due to the point charges Q1? Which is Q1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 A. A is the distance between here and here. What is V31? Potential at point 3 due to charge Q1. Okay, Which is Q1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 A. A is the distance here. Okay, then you use this formula, then you can get the total potential energy of the system. Okay, if you don't want to use this formula, you can also use this formula, which is half of the summation of the Q times V. And then you substitute everything inside. Then you still can get the same answer. So next time when you are going to do this question, Please do this question because at least you have a method to check whether your answers are correct or not. If the answers are the same, then most probably you are correct. If they are not, then most then is surely that you have done something wrong. Okay? So let's take a look at another question. A charge Q of positive 125 microcoulomb is fixed at a center of a square of length 0.64 meter. 
If a charge P of positive 7 microcoulomb is moved from X to Y, find the work done. Okay? So you notice that the distance from X to the point charge here is same as the distance from point Y to the point charge here. When the distance is the same, and then the source of the charge is also the same, that means that the electric potential at point X is equal to the electric potential at point Y. Vx equal to Vy. When you want to find the work done, you have to use W equal to Q delta V. The delta V is the difference in the electric potential. Is there any difference in the electric potential? No, because, because Vx is equal to Vy. So the answer is zero. Okay, so just now you are dealing with a 2D graph, 2D diagram. Now we upgrade our problem to deal with 3D diagram. Okay, three point charges are located at three different points respectively. Find the total energy in the system. Okay, so the point charge 3 nano coulomb is here, negative 1 nano coulomb is at the origin. 4 nano column is here. Then what do you do? You can use this formula to find the total work done, which is the total electric potential energy of the system. Or you can also use this formula. Okay? But whatever formula you use, you surely can get the same answer. Okay? But I will not explain this because this is exactly the same reasoning here. Okay. A proton enters a uniform electric field at point X and then moves in a parabolic path to point Y. If the electric field strength is 500 volt per meter, what is the change in the kinetic energy of the proton? Okay, you really have to remember that when the electric field is horizontal, there's only horizontal electrostatic force. And therefore, when you are trying to calculate the work done, you only care about the displacement along the electric field line. That means that you only care about the 0 0.4 meter. The 0 0.3 meter is useless. Okay, this man, that means this information is given to confuse the students only. This is a totally useless information. Okay, so you use the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the work done, which is equal to Q times delta V or F dot ds, where the ds is 0 0.4 meter. Okay, so now three point charges x, y, z in a uniform electric field E of magnitude 200 volt per meter are shown. What is the work done to move an electron from point x to point z? If you want to move the electron from here to here, the only distance that you have to take into consideration is the displacement along the electric field line. That means that you only take 0 0.4 meter into consideration. You never take this into your consideration. Okay? This is a useless information. An electron is accelerated from rest through a region between electric potential V1 and electric potential V2 in vacuum. The final speed of the electron is 2 times 10 power 6 meter per second. State the transformation of energy of the electron. Okay, the transformation of energy is from the electrical potential energy to the kinetic energy of the electron. Please determine the potential difference between V1 and V2. Work done by the electric field is equal to the change in the in kinetic energy of the electron. Okay, Q times delta V equal to half mv square minus half mv square. Okay, but then U is zero because it starts from rest. So, by the word from rest, you know that U equal to zero. A charged particle of 40 microcoulomb is placed in a uniform electric field of 2.8 2 times 10 power 5 
newton per coulomb please determine the force exerted on the charged particle f equal to qe please find the word which is required to move the charged particle to a distance 5 cm against the direction of the electric field you can either use w equal to f dot d or q times delta v okay but i don't care what formula you are using you will definitely reach the same answer the work done to bring a positive charge of 1.6 times 10 power negative 19 column from infinity to a point p in an electric field is 8 times 10 power negative 16 joule what is the electric potential at point p okay work done equal to q times delta v delta v is the final potential minus the initial electric potential okay initially is from infinity away we as the humans define at infinity v equal to zero okay so you can get the electric potential at point p a stationary lithium nucleus of charge 3e is bombarded by an energetic proton what is the minimum speed of the proton in order to reach a distance of 1 times 10 power negative 15 meter from the nucleus? Okay, this is the lithium nucleus. This is the proton. Proton has a charge of positive E. The lithium nucleus has a charge of 3E. Okay, so by using the energy conservation principle, you can find out the the u okay the total energy of the proton when it is closest to the lithium is that it has now zero kinetic energy but then it has now maximum electros electric potential energy total energy of the proton when it is infinitely away from the need lithium nucleus is that now it has some kinetic energy but then because it is so far away from the lithium nucleus, therefore it has zero electric potential energy. Normally in school, you straight away learn that half mv squared equal to equal to half mv squared equal to q1 q2 over 4 pi epsilon long r. But then I really want to show you that this is the whole picture of the energy conservation. That means that the this term is zero. Then this term is also zero. Then only you come to the final two terms. That means that initially you have four terms, but two of them are zero. Therefore, only, only you deal with two terms in the end. Okay. But normally in school you straight away learn about the two terms. Okay. That means that normally you you skip this part. But I want to show you that because I think this is really important. Okay. So in the next video, we'll be talking about the isolated spherical conductor. Okay, thank you.